What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Third Gen Junkies. You know who it is, Chris. Rocking the old school snap-on hat. Yeah. So today, Saturday, day before Valentine's Day, February 13th. So today we're gonna be heading out to Ken Dage's house. Gonna help him do some work on his white LS swapped IROC. You've seen it in past videos. Or we're supposed to go get the new motor for the yellow car, but you've seen the white car in the video. So we're gonna head out here. Got to make a quick stop along the way um, before we get there. Um, but we're gonna help him do some work on some of his stuff out there, and then in return he's gonna help me um, make some stuff for uh, the house. And he came by and did some electrical yesterday after he got done working. Um, and uh, we're going to get some stuff going. So uh, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, so I'm back. Stopped at the old Julasco here. Julasco stopped and got some party favors. Oh, Mr. Ken Dajan decided to grab me two regular Red Bulls, non sponsor. And then I got these new ones Red Bull Energy Drink watermelon and i got this other one too this yellow one it says tropical idolizes energy in mind so we're gonna try this stuff but yeah we're about two minutes from ken so head over there see what the hell the old man is doing see you in a minute i not gonna make it too big just drop right in there yep <laughs> Damn cat. Actually, this stuff is so thin, you can, you can take a knife and cut this stuff and and break it. Yep, now you just get it to file and clean it up a little bit. Where was it? Oh, that one. Fine file, right? Yeah, don't take long. Should leave all this shit on there just so they do trip now. Cause then if they get splinters in their paws or something, then I'm gonna have to take them to the damn vet. There's something else I want to deal with. There you go. They get their paws in there and go like this. They ain't gonna get through. <laughs> Need a haircut, old man. Oh shit. Bet you Kenny looks about the same as you do, doesn't he? No, uh, shorter. Uh, so, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this is basically, if you follow me on, um, on Facebook, You'll know that uh, I made a template like this out of cardboard for my uh, cold air return duck on my furnace because the cats keep. Yeah. Well, so that's the new rendition of the cardboard to keep the cats out of the cold air duck return because I had cardboard and stuff piled on top of it and my uh, furnace was overheating. Made one out of cardboard, but the cats decided to test it and broke it. So, Ken, help me. Yeah, here's the original. That the cats decided to destroy. So now when they go to pounce on this one, they're in for a rude awakening. <laughs> when it don't come out and it don't flex. It might flex from their weight, but it ain't going to break. And they can stick their paws through, but they ain't going to be able to get in the cold air duct return. Well, like 20 pound cat might break it. Oh, he's not that big anymore. He lost some weight. Okay. Now when he stands up, you can see his spine and it wraps around to his stomach and it's just extra skin from him getting fixed that goes this. Okay. He's lost probably 20 pounds. He's actually a lot smaller than he was. I'm like, good. We don't want no diabetes cat. Well, no good. I got a huge metal sliver in the tip of my finger 
from work. Yeah. So what, you want to get Kenny's opinion on how to do this again? So what he's saying is pull, pull these two bolts out right here. Right. And then let it hang this way. Mm -hmm. And pull it out and put the other one back up in there and then just... Well... You, you could use one of the twist jacks, twist up on it and no, then no, put the bolts back the through? Ground. We're going to do this on the ground. Oh, okay. The jack stands on the, and the floor jack. But uh, what he's saying to do is... See, I got these loose already. Yeah. So we're going to support it with the jack stand. But then have the jack pushing up on this. Compressing the spring. Pull those bolts out. Lower it undo down. Undo the strut from the top. Then the whole thing lowers down with the jack. So you lower it, lower this down with the jack. Yeah. Pull the spring out, put the new spring in. Use the jack to push it back up in there. Get everything kind of lined up. Probably put the strut in first. Then these two back in. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember had the wax on it. I cleaned the wax off. And I uh, stripped it with, that's like a weld from the factory. Huh. Look at how nice this thing is. It's completely rust free. It was like bare shiny metal underneath there when I stripped the wax off. Hmm. The undercoating wax. It's so nice how that pan fits. Yeah, except it does, it's really close right there if you look at it from the side. Yeah, it's like that on this side, but that's an F body pan. Mm -hmm. That's the way it's supposed to fit. Right. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was a little more clearance because it could actually hit. But it's never, it's never hit, but I guess it could. Now on the yellow car, we went in there with saws on, we cut the K-member here and here. Notched it, boxed it. We took a hydraulic jack it. and we put it back there and pushed it here and, and actually crushed it and then re-welded it to give it more clearance. Yeah, didn't have a plasma, you could have just notched it out and then boxed it. A lot of people do kind that. Kind of what we did. Or everybody else, you know, take and get a tubular K-member and be done with it. Right. And I missed that sale, and that's what pissed me off when I used that money to buy her exhaust for her car. Because mm -hmm. that was down to $463 shipped for, for that K-member. Member. Yeah. From who? Uh, Summit or Jags? Okay. One of them. That was for the UMI one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, BMR. BMR. Mm -hmm. BMR is the only one that Chris stands behind that is a direct fit, no issue, straight bulletin, unless your car's tweaked. Car sweet, sometimes you have to, you know, finagle. I was trying to get this cap off of here. I'm gonna sandblast this and powder coat it. Yeah. But I was trying to cut this metal plate off that says caution, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm got the, I got the, the Dremel, with the cutoff wheel, and I'm cutting this. And I don't know what the fuck I did, but somehow I hit the, my finger with the cutoff wheel. Went right through right the finger, through the nail. Down the skin. It took like two seconds, and I was like, oh my, holy shit. Yeah, them, uh, them, them diamond Dremel fucking blades are nothing nice. That's what it was, too. <laughs> yep, they're, they're nothing nice. I used those when uh, I had to do a wheel bearing, and they were the press fit on a, a veil, and the, 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 you know, the that sleeve won't come out. Mm -hmm. Man, I had to go in there and notch it, and then, you know, stick a screwdriver in there and crack it into two pieces. Then... I took these off and powder coated these too. Fender braces? So they were all covered with wax. They looked like shit from the powder coating that was on them. <laughs> that powder coating system is pretty cool. It's way easier than paint. You fucking hang the thing from, like, from here from a wire. You got the machine, you clip on an alligator clip to it that grounds it. You step back, you spray it with powder. Put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Take it out, let it cool. Huh. Ready to go on. Yeah. It's way more durable than paint. This has got the LS, the LS pulley kit. That's a stock. Because it's down here. Stock Camaro. Yeah, because if, if it was truck, that alternator would be hanging right, through the like, fucking hood. Like that one over there. Is, yep. The one you're buying. Well, that's the thing. I, I'm going to probably do underdrive pulley kit. And, or just use my... No, I'm not, I don't want to use that shit. I got all... Um, Corvette accessories, right. basically so the same setup, like this, yeah. except for everything here 
is all AN. Even this, the oh. water neck is all, it's all AN. Okay. Like he had, he had it in something crazy. And I couldn't beat it. It was like $200 for everything. It was like an hour trip. I met him at a gas station. I about shit a brick when I opened that box and seen what it was. Mm -hmm. so I was like, huh, it's upstairs in my pile of uh, LS swap shit. Yeah, I just found some stuff to make these hang on. We're gonna, actually, I'm gonna put that on this car and convert it. You did the water pump. <laughs> You do the you did the time and chain cover black? Uh, yeah. In the car. Okay. I just took spray paint with, with the assembly, all this was off. I just spray painted it with everything taken off the front of the motor. Trying to figure that shit out to what those are fourth gen clamshells, right? Or small block Chevy clamshells. Uh into No, the, the motor mounts that are on the motor are the stock LS motors. Motor. Yeah, so be four gen clamshells, what they can call them. Right. And then the the brackets is an aftermarket eighty dollar adapter. Yeah, because Chris sent it to me of what I would need. I just got to figure out yeah, everything else. Some of pictures a couple weeks ago. Here, auto plumb. Check this stuff out. So it converts, it, it's like a hose clamp that grabs onto the neck. And it converts it to an AN fitting. Yeah, these are that's, about eighty bucks a piece for these fittings. See, you that's just what have to get the hose. Mine is on the water pump. It's uh, the threaded end, and that's all I need is that hose to run it. That's like a dash twenty. It's huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh. I took this one apart and I painted it. Yeah. It's ready to it's go in as soon pretty. as I. Pretty. Got to get a new dryer thing for it. That Canister thing. That thing there. Yeah. Yeah. These are the these are the good ones. Right. These are the ones that we cut them off. We cut this whole thing off right here. And you use it for when you use uh, your LS1 fans. Well, I'm going to get that guy to uh, make some stainless. Make one, he's going to make me, I'm going to make one of these that it takes the stock fans. Uh oh, there he is. Yeah. We're in trouble now. I'm going to try doing these Ooh, things. Ooh, what's that? So I want you to help me set this up so I can get these out of there without killing myself. <laughs> fun, fun. Do you want to put a jack stand underneath the car? Hey, Kenny, we, do, we were just carpenters. Look. <laughs> the cold air duck return. I made this so the cats would stop. Well, we had card or cardboard and boxes on top of it, right? Well, it got so cold, the furnace was overheating because it didn't have a fire to cool it down. So I made this. Well... One of them decided to knock one of these boxes off, it hit it, and then he realized, oh, that ain't nothing. So they, they're in there in the cold air duck returns. Right. So your dad's like, I got this thin shit, so we made a template, and now they're gonna get a rude awakening when they go. Jump on the head. <laughs> Little fuckers. <laughs> I have this out. It's already loose. Okay. It just comes right out already. Uh, Those are already ready to go. This one's not out. I didn't I'm gonna that pull side that yet. side out yet. I just did this uh, side. <clears throat> I just gotta, hopefully you have enough clearance you can but turn it so like, over the car down. Right. I, you, know, you don't need it all the way down, all the way down, but... I was thinking all the weight off the lift so the jack is doing all the, all the weights on the jack. No. To compress the spring. No. You don't no? need to. Kind of, what you want to do is just lower it down and then you just want the jack here to keep some weight on it and then take... 
Those take, two that are loose. Yeah, take one bolt out, the other bolt out, and then just lower the flare deck. Right. It'll take tension off the spring. Yeah. And it's then like loosen the motor motor. You gotta loosen the strut, the strut bolt, right? Take no. the, lower the strut. No. no? You don't touch anything. Oh, okay. You just leave all this solid. You leave all that. It'll there. just tilt down. Okay, you're gonna swing this down. Pull it out, put the new one in, and yeah. jack it back up, yeah. put the bolts back in it. Yeah, that's all you're nice. Gonna do. That's a hell of a lot easier than what I thought. Turn the rack so you're that gonna, yeah, you're gonna have this to. is out of the way for that bolt to come out. Or right. this stuff's out of the way right. too, right? We'll probably have to lift it up so you can drop the control arm down and get the jack out of there with the spring in there. So that's how Lift you the down. car up for more clearance yeah. to get it down, swing down out of the way, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're dead. Uh, I was like, dude, did you really jack up on the, on they're coming the out fuel line? It's like, oh, they're coming out. I don't care. Oh. I don't know that it crushed them anyway, either. I don't think it crushed them. Most of them are like in the little cup, right. except for right here. Alright, get out of the way. Alright. Pull the out or? Yeah, if you want. Can you side drive on that other car? Yeah. What are you doing on it? Oh, we're gonna have to wash the motor. The what? Yeah, that's right on it. Yeah. Hey, yellow and gray stripes. You're looking at what? The windshield washer motor? Oh, well, we had some new bodies in that stripe. No, it didn't. The guy I bought it from must have, uh, you gotta get in there and get those bolts out so you right. don't want it up. You can technically do it with a screw jack. Yeah. That's all I told him. You could do it with the stand yeah, screw jack with the, at the height we had it. Only problem is, if it tilts, it's gonna do like when we try to do the oil pan up in the air. Right. It's so gonna be yeah. scary as shit. Fuck that. that. You may not have enough weight though. That, see, that's what I told him. I said, what do you do? Have 10 of your buddies sit on the fucking hood while you're trying to <laughs> keep the car, you know, level? Car's lifting. Yep. So I wanted to just keep all the way, as much weight on as I can, I would think. But see, I don't see how that's going to work either because now all that pressure. I told you I had those ones that I was probably going to sell, and I said something to Kenny about it. Oh, yeah. And he was like, do, do, do. Don't you sell them to him. <laughs> I was like, why? He's like, because that's one of our Christmas presents we got for dead. All right. No problem. Why? Yes. Like a dead animal in there. Two years later. I didn't smell when I drove it. But I also had the windows down. I, need, I think the T-tops were on it. Yeah, the T-tops were on it. Stick your nose in there and smell it right now. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's oh, something in there. <laughs> I've thrown the whole car apart except the headliner. But the only thing I haven't taken out. Yeah, there's something in there, all right. That's for sure. So do you think I should have all the weight on the jack? Pushing up? No, 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 not all the weight. No? You just, you're gonna get the bolts out. So right, you're gonna motor mount. Pressure pushing on the yeah, it's like doing a motor mount. Right, you gotta kind of just you want the the jack like treat it like like the hoist. You, know? you put right. a little pressure on it and then try know, to pull the bolt out, the wiggle it, where the bolt comes out. wiggle and jiggle yeah. till it slides out of there, right. and then have the jack center underneath the spring. Right? right, that's what I'm worried about too is the pivot point. Well, that was all the way. <laughs> yeah. 
You're barely, yeah. You're barely on on that lip. See it? Yeah, you just want maybe just the corner of that. Seventeen castle nut, right? It's loose, but it must be because I have the rack turn that it's binding or something. Because I just stuck that nut in there to hold it, so it wouldn't just fall off all the time. So where's the ratchet wrench? Okay, there's a re there's Red Bull in the fridge if you want one. No, I said Kenny. You don't drink fucking Red Bull. You drink beer. Turn it back though. Why? Uh, cause you. Well, Straight or keep it turned that way. Turn the way you had it. To the passenger side. Okay. That's good. Cute little baby zip ties. <laughs> little what? Baby zip ties. Oh. Oh, they ain't coming off by hand. I already tried that. I think nuts loose. Not this one. Let's see. Move your finger. Oh, so I can't. Move your hand. <clears throat> yeah, it's loose. Yeah, it's Hanging loose, but it. Thread. A thread that I can't get with my fingers. Right. <laughs> Nobody likes my snap-on. Huh? My old my snap-on freaking hat keeps falling off. That 17? Uh, nope. That's nice. Nope, 18. 18. <laughs> oh, flip the wrench. 
flip it. Yep. I can, but remember, put the wrench on. We got to figure out on which side. Oh, this side. Yeah. Now, the thing is, we got to figure out the sweet point of the jacking up and going down and tapping them to where they pop out. Right, we're just oh shit! Unscrew them. Comes that crazy ass dog. Monster alert! Crazy dog! <laughs> Hey, I can't defend myself. It's not fair. Hi. What the hell? <laughs> you still found a way to weasel yourself down here and lick me in the face, you little shit. <laughs> well, you know what? We just need... I probably need... A you got a dead bull? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> Go play in the snow. No, there's somebody to visit. Say hi. Go try to eat some rabbits or something. Like you normally do, crazy. Psycho dog. You're right, already... still in the way. What if I should turn the other direction? Wait, you're gonna try to actually unscrew them out? A little bit. Not all the way, but a little bit. Yeah, the rack's in the way. Uh... Let me see something. What was this one? Right. But he's saying we gotta find the sweet spot. Where the... Oh, that felt weird. He started messing with it. I felt the air dam push down on my chest. Oh. I was like, ooh, what was that? Nope. Yeah. I, I got a ways to go though. Right. That's a long ass boat. It's like a motorhome boat. Except for your ratchet wrench, it skips every once in a while. Really? Yeah, it just it's been it just did it a couple of times. Tell me when to stop. I can't. Stop there. All right. Now is it we need to go up or we need to go down? Right. That's the question. Try spinning with your fingers, see when you can spin. Oh it hell no! Nope. That's all the weight off, and it ain't nope. So still, you can't turn it, right? Nope. Right now. Uh. -uh. Nope. Nope. Uh. -uh. We're just gonna have to crack them loose. Right. And just let it go. It's the only way we're gonna be able to do it. Probably. Yeah, just put the jack under there and take one side out and then take the other side out and then slowly let the jack down. But I know what you're thinking. If you take one side out, you think one side's gonna go like this? Right. Under the weight and the other side's gonna bind? Uh-huh. I don't I don't think it'll do that. It shouldn't, but depends if you got the jack centered in there, right? I mean it's not it's centered on the back half of the hole toward the driver's side so that you still have enough room to pivot. Pivot what? Well, because actually he, I think it's wrong. Damn it. Okay. Um, yeah, because of the fact that, okay, this is going to tilt this way. If you have the jack all the way this way, oh, when you let it, no, that's right. Because, yeah, when you let it down, this is going to go down, this is all going to go down this way. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I think we might just have to do it that way. Just pull a bolt out and then pull another bolt out. If anything, you'd probably jack up more on it. If one bolt comes out and it does do that weird tilt, you could jack it on, up on it and it'll go back up in the hole and then pull the other one out and let it all the way down. I like the idea of pulling the strut better, dropping the hole 
A arm down, taking all the pressure off the spring. Then pull the nose. Because then the spring's under less pressure. It's up to you. I mean, Grand Wizard says one thing and you say another, and right. Grand Wizard said don't touch them transmission mount bolts, and what'd you do? <laughs> Just destroy the transmission mount. And we had to build one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, I know, that if you have the strut, like if we undo the strut right now, drop the strut all the way down, like you said when you part out cars, for example, 99% yep. of the tension is off that spring when that strut's all the way down. Yep. I just undo that one, and I, I've seen them done on videos a million times. They undo the top, uh -huh. and then they undo the bottom, let this motherfucker drop but it, they have it dropped this way not the way we're gonna do it, which is this no, way they, yeah they drop this whole spin yep, down yep and right. it just literally and it sits in the pocket and you just have to get something in there and you beak and it just bing right. falls out but so we get it that far then we pull those other two bolts out there's no tension on them fuckers at that point yep but if you want to do it that way do it that way oh boy who is this is, or what is this is? Phone's in here somewhere. <laughs> Got too much shit in my hoodie. Ooh. Hey, uh, Ken. I think, no. you, think you got an issue here. What? Why is your serpentine belt sitting against the alternator bracket bolt right here? I mean, it's all the way against it. Really? Oh, yeah. sitting against it now if I pull it away because I have the belt running around you, you must I, because there's no way in hell that that goes right there it's gonna shred the yeah. shit out of the inside of that belt I got it routed wrong then I have to I always get confused on how to fucking route these belts Kenny's like mm -hmm. done I'm like Yep, okay. I just happened to look up and I'm like, that looks like it's touching. I try to get my finger between and I'm like, yeah, no, that's against it. That's not good, Ken, that's not good. I definitely got it routed wrong. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go <laughs> Biden. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Oh. Pull that strut bolt out then, man. That's what you want to do. Pull that bolt out of the top and then we'll pull these two bolts down here and lower it down. And I had this thing down all the way once before. Kenny freaked out on me. What the fuck? You can't do that! I won't see why not. I mean, I've seen a million other people do it. Because I had a pry bar in there, or a stick, and I was lifting up on the spring, and the spring was actually almost pretty much loose in there. Loose in there. With the A-arm all the way down. Yeah, when the A-arm's completely... When it's unhooked from there, or not even, even when it's still hooked up to the bottom ball joint, and you take that strut bolt out of the top, and you drop it, and it's all the way down as far as it'll go. Right. You literally, you don't only need like a broomstick handle and it pops right out. Right, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Oh. We gotta figure out something. Plan of attack. Right, I'm just. I don't know how much pressure is on those bolts right now. I mean, how much more of a pain in the ass is it gonna be to put the strut back in? Not very much. No. I'm not worried about that. I just. 
like you said, once you drop that strut bolt, the uh, strut's going to drop down. It's going to relieve the pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's wrong about just undoing those and not undoing the strut. I think you have to undo those and undo the strut to reassemble it because that's what's screwing it. Because, <laughs> uh, I have a hard time compressing it that much and getting everything lined back up. Hmm. An extension, yeah. Okay. I can, well, like, even like a three inch. Right, right. It'll put it out here, and yeah, I can hit it. You gonna take that strut <laughs> bolt off? <laughs> no. Yeah, see? Now you can hit it. Right. Well, and I want to be able to work in there without, you know, um, trying to think of ways I can get in there and work without being in there. <laughs> yeah. Like that one, you could do that from there. But the other one, pretty much have to be in the wheel well to undo this one. So I'm thinking you pull this one out first and then do that one last. Yeah. So that means you need this like this. See once it comes down it ain't gonna be no issue. Gotta do it. Still afraid to undo it. Put some, put some damn socks on, woman. I did have socks on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. backed yeah. out but he's just there's a lot of tension on that spring he's kind of scared that if the jack moves or, or rolls or you know what I mean and it well, that's why the strut's in the strut what that's why the strut's still in that's why it's still in yeah still be fine think you think the bolt out then you... well I'm ready to do that I just I don't know if it's gonna move Not on it. I know. <laughs>
It ain't going out any further. No? Nope. Okay, there it goes. Huh? Now it's coming out. Damn near be out. It should be out of there now. Close. Yeah, it's. I think you might have to just check. Give it like one pump up, just a hair, so I can tell where it's. Is the screw pushing down? Yeah. Okay, now try to grab it out of there, because now it looks more lined up. The A arm in the hole. Yep. See. That one looser. You want the ratchet wrench? No. I need a short AT now. That's what <laughs> Unless Kenny pulls it out with his fingers. Still got tension in it? You're, you're almost on it. Oh, you're off it. Huh? You're off it. Car. Yeah, it's, it's against the car. Yeah. Ratchet your inch. No, it's loose enough. I can pull it out. So. Okay. All right. Slowly. Now we're gonna do the front one now. Yep. Oh, try to. Yeah, that's all. I was trying to grab it with my hand and do it a little bit. But if you lean the socket. Oh, at an angle. Pull out at the same time. That's what I was doing. <laughs> it slipped off. <laughs> Scared me. Tension on that thing. Ooh, just made it worse. <laughs> made it yeah, I made it tighter. Go up, 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 right there. I think that'll work. Come out. Go up a little bit more. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's 
sitting in there spinning. It looks like it's level. I just need something more to push it out or pull it out. Put it with your fingers? No, it's too much tension on it. Something smaller. <laughs> you fucker. No. It's kind of, but I'm not left-handed. I'm trying to push it.